Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to this live stream where we're going to interview a champion, the champion of the Barcelona Open. Uh, this happened just yesterday where <clears throat> one of India's top players, top grandmasters managed to win a very, very strong tournament in Barcelona. The name of the GM is Setu Raman and he won like three rounds in the end. He scored seven and a half and he managed to win the tournament. I want to share a few pictures with all of you over here. Just check this out. I think uh, this is, you know, that proud feeling of winning a tournament and ha having that trophy in your hands is unparalleled. So that's Setu Raman with his trophy there at the Barcelona Open. Uh, that's him very happy because... You know, in the end, he had to win his last round in a must-win situation. He did it. Uh, so, first place went to Setu. Second to Daniel Yufa of Russia. Third went to Karthikeyan Murli of India. And uh, this is how Setu Raman performed. He scored... He was unbeaten, actually. He scored 7.5 points, beating 2080-2240. He beat GM Vasquez Schroeder, Rodrigo... Then drew with Lopez Martinez, Kartigan Murli and Vladimir Hamid Tevici so that he slowed down a bit. And then he managed to beat uh, a WIM from Chile. Then two last two games with Vishak and Akab, uh, Har Aram Hakobian. Uh, so that was a great performance. And these are the final standings here. Setu Raman at the top. Number two was Daniel Yufa, Kartikeyan, Alexander Fear, Arvind Chidambaram was fifth. Jules Mussard, uh, Fernando Peralta, Aram Hakobian, and then 9th and 10th to Indians, Arjun Kalyan, Vishak Anar. And also, guys, look at the 16th place. That's Vaishali over there who did really well. She's one of India's top women players and she also performed very well. So, guys, uh, let me know if you can hear me well and everything is good. And if that, if all is good, then I would like to invite our guest for today. And we're going to have a lot of questions for you uh, to answer. So yeah, all is good. And Srinath in the chat, Srinath says, I would rename this stream as what to do in the name of chess. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Setu. How are you? Great, great, Sagar. <laughs> Setu, congratulations <laughs> for winning a tournament. I mean, such a it's a Barcelona Open is one of the most prestigious open events in the world, and you won the event. You won five thousand euros, so it it must be a very pleasant feeling. Yeah, you know, Sagar, like uh, actually planned to return after Riga, so I played in BL first, and then I played in Riga. So I actually booked my tickets back to uh, go to India, and then I really played. So badly in Riga, <laughs> I lost something like uh, 11 points. Mm -hmm. So I, somehow I wanted to take revenge and continue. Yeah, I mean, somehow to prove myself. And then I completely rescheduled my tickets. It was a last minute decision. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, yeah, and then to win this tournament was uh, nice. It's uh, really amazing that you are not even going to play it and then you yeah. won it. <laughs> so, uh, it's, and where are you right now? Look at your background. It looks so nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, right now I'm in Chessable office in Barcelona. They have really a very cool workspace. Okay. I mean, some 10, 15 servers and some uh, nice rooms. Right now I'm in a complete uh, soundproof room. Yeah? Oh, like you, are in, your, you are in yeah. a recording uh, studio type yeah. of situation. Yeah, like a cube. Yeah, <laughs> like I cannot hear what others talk. Like you can see uh, uh, some people around. Yeah, right, right. it's a really, really cool place. I'm enjoying it right now. Amazing, amazing. And thanks for taking out time because the game ended yesterday and uh -huh. today I think you are going to travel as well, right? Uh, you're going to and, No, no. The thing is that because of this uh, uh, rescheduling of tickets, I booked a non-refundable ticket from Riga to Chennai. So now I have to travel back to Riga and then I have to travel to Chennai because I couldn't cancel the tickets. Yeah. But now you've won 5,000 euros, you can you know, <laughs> <laughs> spend a bit, go from Barcelona, no? Oh, but I already have booked the tickets, yeah. So I'm flying uh, on 29th, yeah. So ah, I have so one yeah, more day. So, one yeah. more day. But yeah. Barcelona is a beautiful city to yeah, be in. And yeah, I think you can, true. you know, go to La Rambla and 
uh, <laughs> all these beautiful places. So, Setu, we are going to look at two of your very nice games, uh, eighth and ninth round. Mm -hmm. So, shall we have a look at them? Shall we begin? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. So, uh, we are going to see your game with Vishak first. And uh, guys, if you have any questions for Setu, you can please uh, let us know in the chat. And it would be, you know, we I can ask him in between the games. And Setu, uh, we are going to use this chat chess moves here uh, to mm -hmm. ask mm -hmm. questions to the viewers. Okay. So wherever you have a question, we can ask them and test them because a lot of people would be excited to learn from you. So, sure, sure, sure. Okay, let's get it going. Uh, you are black and mm -hmm. what what is your uh, feeling about Vishak? You know, he's a grandmaster right now. And w w what's your overall feeling about him as a player? Do you know him well? Yeah, he's also from Chennai. So uh, I know him pretty well. Like uh, he's a strong player, upcoming player. And actually we played in BL and he was white, I was black. And I played the same opening, Red is King Cynthia. Uh, so uh, once again I was black, but okay, I thought okay, why not <laughs> try it once again? Yeah. Ah, you played in B BL already. Yeah, yeah? B BL already, and, and what uh, had happened there? Yeah, I won there as well with the black pieces, playing King Cynthian. Okay. And uh, there he played Bishop E two, Bishop E three instead of Knight F three. Acha, he played this and this. Alive. Yeah, the system, and then I I kind of prepared well there, and I got a better portion out of the opening. So now he kind of changed it this game. To the classical line with knight of three and bishop e two. I think so one I'm, of the I'm reasons like why you didn't do e five was maybe because you yeah, didn't want to yeah, go yeah. <laughs> you know me, Sagar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for you, I think at that point winning this game was a must, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. A six, castle, castle, and e five. And, and, and here you did this. Uh, and yes. he played it. He played d takes e five after a few moves, but now this is not as powerful right or how yeah it? because yeah it's not have already a knight on a6 so i mean it's still possible it's not like uh i'm better or something i mean it's just equal but i mean comparatively it's better yeah mm. because with the king on e1 he will get this bishop g5 knight d5 immediately yes yes and also some long castle ideas are yeah there. long castle ideas are there, exactly so now he's so already he committed the king Okay, mm -hmm. got it. By the way, one question to you by Srinath says, what prompted your last round opening choice? When we come to the last ah. game, we will talk about <laughs> it. We'll talk about that. Uh, okay, so Bishop E3 was played here. Mm -hmm. And and then Queen E7. I think Knight G4 is also a move here, right? Yeah, that's true. But Queen E7 is the recent line, which was played by uh, Surya and as well uh, Adiban. Achha. So... Adiban is an expert in King Cynthia. Yeah, I mean, yeah, when he knows must everything. Win. <laughs> yeah, when it's must win, he <laughs> plays the King Cynthia. Yeah, he, he plays the King Cynthia. So actually, I was following his game from against Navarra, I suppose, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. The Queen E7 is kind of new trend. And uh, yeah, I pretty much uh, like this uh, overall system. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so one question is like, if he closes the center with D5, Mm -hmm. uh, would the queen be slightly misplaced there, or what's the plan? I, I mean, it's not that misplaced, but in some cases, yeah, they put the queen on e8 so that, uh, like, after knight h5, I can get f5 immediately mm -hmm. so that uh, 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 h5 knight will not be hanging. But basically, okay, white tries to maintain the tension. Yeah, I mean, closing is kind of a bit. Uh, releases it and uh, maybe here I can go knight g4 and uh, f5, yeah, something yeah, like try, try to push f5. Okay, knight g4, and let's say if he goes back, maybe bg5 is good, but something, yeah, 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 like this could be played. Okay, yeah, got it. So he took on e5. Did was this yeah. a surprise for you? No, no, it, I think it is also uh, one it's of the theory. uh, yeah, theoretical moves. And instead of e, e, d5, I think he can play bishop g5 as well, uh, trying to make use of the pin. But then I think I take on d4, and then if knight d5, queen d8. Yeah, this was my knight d5, yeah. Ah, knight d5, queen d8. Queen d8. Okay, it's equal, but uh, yeah, what, what, what to do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. I mean, with black, you can't get an advantage <laughs> so soon. Yeah. But takes, takes. And he went mm -hmm. h3 and I, is it a good point? I want to ask people to just mm -hmm. guess your next move because it's a very 
nice typical move yeah to uh, yeah, in the to kings stop india some, ha yeah, to stop some uh, <laughs> okay jumps. guys black to play what do you do in this position but h3 is a bit slow i felt during the game hmm because after my next move i think uh, i simply got everything uh, my dream scenario yeah 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 by the way while they are answering there is a question mm-hmm. by apurva kamble who says mm-hmm. that uh, there are many talents that are upcoming in the india in india mm-hmm. sorry and who are you know mm-hmm. performing very well reaching 2600 like arjun did it yeah, now yeah, dukesh yeah. did it i think raunak is also very close yeah. so yeah. Uh, do you think this tournament is the return of setu Like <laughs> perhaps, perhaps, yeah. It it has been a while since I won a tournament. I was always close. Like I finished third or second. Uh, probably after two thousand sixteen, I'm winning it. Yeah. So it has been a. a so so maybe uh, your last big victory was the Asian title. Yeah, right? Asian Championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in a few tournaments, I was very close to win the tournament, but somehow uh, it was not happening. Yeah, and uh, I'm very happy, and uh, it get it gets some kind of motivation. Yeah, also confidence, like. Uh, any win a tournament because any tournament is it's very special yeah correct absolutely absolutely and let's have a look at how people ooh nice strong chat yeah strong chat yeah. people have given the right answer well done uh, have, arutra have you, have... sorry no everyone knows how to play kings indian <laughs> <laughs> Arutran Dhanai Om Venkat Rangan Saurabh Savita Tushar Ninja Cat Pralad Sen and Sh- Shushant well done all of you you have found the right idea of c6 in the position and that stops basically knight d5 i i yeah. do remember this uh, games you know say to like you control d5 and now you want mm-hmm. to take control of d4 square with your pieces yeah also i want to play knight h5 and f5 at some point okay and maybe maybe jump with my knight to f4 also yeah so right. so that's why i felt h3 is a bit slow hmm okay white should create something on the queen side but yeah like he played a3 but then uh, like i mentioned uh, i'm much faster yeah than him you went here and the thing is yeah, with I knight c5 you are already creating a- another threat exactly so i attack the pawn on e4 he went here queen c2 and then i go knight Yeah, you went here. I, uh, again, the thing is that if he goes b4, you will come mm-hmm. to e6, and your pawn yeah. will be protected with the bishop. You know, the queen is broken, like the queen's defense, but the bishop starts. Pro- so knight h5 was a very nice time to move. Yeah, and also after knight e6, I can get f5, and also knight h4, knight d4, all sorts of uh, jumps. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Okay. It's it's like a dream scenario to play uh, Kings Indian. Hmm. So rook f d one was played, and now you you already started to push with yes, f five. Yes. Okay, he went b four, and you came back ninety six mm-hmm. e f, mm-hmm. and now uh, maybe a small question to everyone in the chat because this is something which everyone should know. Do you recapture here with the rook or do you capture with the pawn? guys what do you think because on one hand you get an open file on the other hand you get like two pieces in the center two pawns in the center what would you choose uh mayur ras setu raman congrats for the win in barcelona did you get a chance to meet messi <laughs> i think right now he's in paris right ah he's in paris i i don't i don't follow football so much no he he has shipped to psg team so i think he's in paris mm. okay as if i'm going to meet him yeah if he's in barcelona <laughs> 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 no i am big fan of him i would love to but <laughs> <laughs> so so you follow football yeah a lot setu not a lot a bit yeah i, I mean i love to play a lot yeah ah you love to play football a lot okay let's see what people have said okay gf5 is what everyone has said guys also rook f5 
is not a good move in this position because of perhaps tactical reasons as well uh g4 i think yeah 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 but basically the e4 square is uh you don't kind of, give up this square yeah. in the king's indian so gf5 is something which you should always recapture i mean most of the times you recapture back with this pawn controlling the e4 square okay very good mm. uh c5 was yes. played and now you went e4 you were very e4. direct yeah in this case yeah yeah and after 94 probably now it's a time for uh, viewers to guess the moment now now it's a real moment guys still now it was like i was asking you to get warmed up but now it's setu's question here what do you do with black important moment so yeah my knight on h5 is attacked whether i retreat or not mm. so this bishop here attacks the knight do you retreat or do you also can take here actually it's also possible yeah that's also possible but i have a more stronger option okay like play in the spirit of kings indian yeah mm. no no uh, savita chess if the knight was not on e6 even still you should not capture on f5 with the bishop most of the times giving up the e4 square is very bad in the king's indian so you should take with the pawn wait this savita chess is uh, savita shri uh... no 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 no, uh, no yeah. savita chess is from sri lanka uh, ah, okay she's also a talented young girl uh, mm -hmm. but savita shri was here a few minutes ago like before your stream ah okay she was okay. on chess base india uh, i mean we had a stream with her when she mm -hmm. played with a few uh, viewers few of those okay let's see a lot of answers here wow wow oh. guys well done this is the right move f4 riyan shah tushar sanpal om lamkane tulia melan chess d zishan sushan savita and 4324 tarun uh, there's also knight f4 recommended say to here in this position by them is that not a good move like going here no it's possible but okay when you see a very strong move like f4 yeah you just go all out but uh, how does this work because let's say i take the knight which vishak did you yeah. take and he takes yeah. back you are a pawn down right yeah but now comes the important move Ooh, like another move to guess no no it's easy i mean i mean when you play f4 you calculate all this stuff yeah kind of so you played uh, queen g5 queen yeah? g5 attacking the h5 bishop and the e3 pawn very nice so queen g5 guys if you had spotted this while playing f4 well done queen e2 oh, yeah and now comes uh, the important moment that i have to take with the bishop so that i have this knight f4 option after ed4 ah uh, this is a very cool move yeah i saw this game yeah. actually when it was happening and he can't take with the pawn because of knight f4 knight f4 yeah fork and if queen c4 check this bishop e6 yeah i mean everything is fine yeah you are on in time so uh, he had to take with the rook mm -hmm. and now he uh, kind of loses exchange yeah? yes and then uh, how, how easy or difficult was it to convert this it was, it was not that easy i mean especially uh, in this tournament yeah we play this time control where we don't have 40 moves mm. so at some point uh, uh, we were both in mutual time trouble and uh, also my king is a bit shaky yeah? it is not that protected so even though the engine keeps saying that it's completely winning, so when your king is not that safe, it's always going to be tough to convert yeah, such positions. But eventually, yes, um, it, it should win. Yeah. Yeah, he went pg4. You took. Yes, now took, took. And now I found a strong move. Like, but probably they can guess. Okay, guys. This is not easy. And I think uh, you guys are going to be in trouble now. Because what did <laughs> Sethu do here? And I, I'm also keen to learn. Uh, how he came to this move so black to play how do you continue also please notice that your pawn on e4 is hanging hanging so yes be very careful ah sorry sorry he's not a uh, savita chess not a girl uh, he's a boy correct correct oh. sorry <laughs> sorry i got i got it Arutran asks, what about instead of bd4, knight d4, bd4, bd4, rook d4, queen g7, or maybe some other position? 
Uh, I think he may, he means to stop F4, yeah. Ah. But maybe this what Setu did F4 was the strongest uh, in that position, guys. So. Okay, think, think, guys, what do you do here as black? A lot of people thinking. Keshav Chandra says, hi, Setu, love you. Will you play Champions Chess Tour? I mean, if I get invited, of course, I'll play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's the last event, right? After this, there will be the finale. Yeah, so... yeah. I think AIM Chess, yeah? Hmm. Or, uh... AIM Chess, right. Vidit is playing there. Yeah, right now these guys are working yeah, for the tournament. So I, I could see what they're doing. <laughs> okay. Ooh. E3 and Rook F4. Nah, this time two... they, are, they are wrong. Yeah, and also it's, uh, but there are a couple of people who have guessed the move. Uh, let mm -hmm. me just call out their names so that, but then you have to explain why that is good. Om Lak Lamkane, uh, but yeah, guys, uh, you have to know why Setu did it. So, what's the logic behind this, Setu? Rook D, E8. Yeah, the point is that, okay, if I play E3. Uh -huh. Which is the yeah. most natural move. Yeah, then he gets knight e4. And he's kind of uh, jumping with his knight to d6 or something, yeah? And, uh, uh, yeah, and it's, it's not that clear because my rook on d8 is not that active. Okay, still I should be winning, but uh, it's not that clear. Mm -hmm. So, so also, my point was that... f4... I, I guess he didn't okay, four, I think I can take because if uh, rook e8, I think I have knight of six check. Ah, this is winning. And yeah. if he plays queen e7, uh, then I think I can play rook uh, e1 and ah, rook e1 to play four is coming. Uh, also, there, I think after knight d6, uh, I'm not sure. I mean, rook e1 to d4, knight d6, yeah. It's not that clear. I mean, should be winning, but uh, still, uh, yeah, but yeah. it has some chances. Yeah, correct. Okay. Also, so, rook f4. Uh, rook f4. I can play something else too. Yeah. I mean, uh, maybe knight d4. I mean, g4 is hanging, so I have to play knight d4. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, rook d8. Can he now not take here? Yeah. Now the point is that okay. Now he's uh, getting tangled in the spin. Yeah. Queen f4. I can play. Queen f4. Rook e1. So if rook e1, I just play a side move like king g7. The point is okay. There are some knight of six check. No checks here and no checks here. Like yeah, no checks. Yeah, no checks anywhere. And uh, there was this nice line. If uh, let's say if he plays uh, uh, queen d3. Yeah. I have rook f6. Mm. Uh, with the idea of he uh, rook. Take because yeah, he can. Hanging. Yeah, this is hanging. And if d5, and here black two moves. I mean, yeah, two moves. I mean, three more tactic here. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Great one. Actually, Setu uh, is very <laughs> clever uh, in asking such questions because he went into a variation and he's asking you this question, which is very cool. So, black to play, guys. What do you do here? Yeah, yeah. Let's see how many people, guys, write down your moves in the chat. Brilliant. This is the correct move that I, Setu has posed you with. And Nihira calls Saurat Biswas, Savita Chess, Arutran, Zishan Ali, Sai Kiran, Abhivir, Mohammed Shamil, Apna Mahi Aiga, and Darshan Parthiban. All of you, well done. It's the right way to continue. Rookie 4, right, Setu? Yeah, rookie 4, queen of 2, and rook at 6, mate. Yeah. Subtail. I mean, not mate, but I'm winning. And he loses the queen. Yeah. Okay, so 
he went d5 yes d5 was the right move because after knight e4 like i mentioned yeah the spin is quite annoying for him and mm. uh, he went d5 and uh, here i took on d5 otherwise i was worried about this d6 and he has a protected first pawn yeah correct so d5 so i took rook takes and then yeah rook takes and here queen f4 i played hmm. you could have also given a check right here or yeah queen c1 check and uh, uh, he could play knight d1 it was not that clear hmm so you that's why you played queen f4 f4 so i yeah i wanted to play e3 and queen f2 check yeah, that was my idea of queen f4 and, and he went knight d1 now you can't go e3 uh, now i think if i go e3 but there's no threat yeah because he's controlled this yeah he's, also, he's controlled he and also and... yeah yeah rook d3 or something okay so rook d yeah yeah this was nice move as well because i wanted to exchange his active piece yeah yeah it's a good move yeah very nice yeah he played here he played knight and then d3 i took, took took and uh queen e5 so knight e3 and here uh, was a important moment important moment Okay, not not exactly. I mean, not uh, to guess, but yeah, just yeah, through. just just king h eight. I played. I mean, just getting out of this checks. Yeah, right. Uh, because checks. if rook d yeah, if rook d eight, uh, then queen c four check. Like the point of rook d eight is to uh, play rook d three, but he has this check, and if king f eight, queen f one check is the problem. A king h eight, queen f one is the problem. Here, queen f one maybe, and if king h eight. Then queen f seven, yeah, and he gets play with knight coming to f five maybe. Yeah, and... yeah. Like for instance, if I play queen d four, he can just move the king, yeah, and I cannot take the knight. Right. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So he, king h eight again, very prophylactic. And guys, whenever you are ahead in material, all that you have to do is keep on constantly looking at your opponent's threats. So yes, queen d two. Queen and here, six. Yes. Uh, and there is a question. Instead of uh, queen d two, if knight f five, uh, black has a strong move here. Okay, black to play, guys. What do you play? Ooh. Like, if I don't have this move, then uh, I don't have any play. Yeah? Like his knight on f five is very strong. Like and, rook uh, d eight. Rook d eight is not natural now. Here, just getting uh, a rook. Rook d eight. I can just play knight d6. Ah, yeah. knight d6, yeah, blocking block the d5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knight f5. Um... Guys, think. Tetu has to break through here, and he has to figure out what way to do it. Also, maybe I can put him in uh, kind of uh, uh, zigzag. Yeah, like, like if he's unable to move his pieces, I am simply winning, right? Like, if he's unable to move his queen or knight. Okay, let's see what people are up to. Queen a one, h five. Rook f5 is, I mean, giving back the exchange may not be the best idea. H5 is a nice idea, but the problem is that uh, White has Queen d2. Oh, you have to be so careful, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, I have to be careful. Maybe Queen e3 as well, right? Here. Yeah, sorry, Queen e3 is strong because Queen d2, I have e3. Yeah, that's true. Queen e3 is strong because if then Queen moves away, also then this could hang. Yeah, exactly. Queen e3 is strong. Yeah, that's true. So knight f5, uh, not h5. Well, the other move that they have suggested is a, a queen a1. But that's just but, yeah, doesn't... king h2, and then uh, I mean, I'm not happy with the draw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about what's the right move here, Setu? E3. E3 is a very strong move. The point is that if queen e3. That is a very nice tactic. Ah, this they will know. This, they, <laughs> they, guys, come on. This is uh, very easy for you. Uh, but E3 was recommended by a few of you. Uh, Arutran, Ernest, Siddhant, Rutvik, and a few others. So, congrats. But let's see. 
See here, yeah. they're very quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cheap food, cheap food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well done, guys. This is this is the correct move. Just... So that that was the idea of E three, and if he takes up the knight, wins. Right. Yes. So and... if he take, yeah, this is a difficult move. And then rook e eight. So I simply pin him for life, and then if king, king of two, F2... then queen d four. Again, he cannot move his pieces. Like he can go queen of three, but then what is the next move? Yeah, for him. Hmm. I I can go a five maybe, and break his pawn structure. Pinned, brutally. And pinned. Ev eventually, yeah, eventually I will uh, take his pawns and I will win. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so very very nice move. If the knight moves e three, could come in. So king h eight here, queen d two by Vishak. And queen then queen of six. Knight f five. Knight f five, and here came. I mean, the last uh, precise move too. Okay, last move, guys. And how did say to break the last resistance of his opponent here? Arutran says this is brutal chess. Mm. Yeah, this is very accurate chess. Actually, this game entirely, I think, Setu was very well played. No, by you. Yeah, this game was uh, quite good quality, I think. But okay, I got every, uh, everything in the opening. Yeah, but then, maybe his okay. opening play could have been improved, but yeah, I think... Yeah, uh... Yes. Especially, especially I play the same opening in BL as well, so... H5. Well done, guys. I think yes. this is the move that Setu played. And uh, yeah. Saurabh, Ami, Nihira, Shushant, Sudanshu, Shubham, Sals, Arun Swami, Aryan, and Ayush. You guys are absolutely right. The move here that Setu played was H5. Yes. Now I think uh, his wall is broken. Yeah, I know. Mm. Because so, the knight is uh, sort of yeah. destabilized. Yeah, yeah. And he went g three. Now, uh, now I played. Yeah, okay. The rook d is very strong as well. Beautiful move. Yeah, because if you take at g four here, he might take d four. He can take. Yeah, yeah. But rook d is very nice. Like I get the open file for the rook, and now he is under severe problems yeah, from all the sides. And the point is that if knight into h five, then have a nice check on a one. Yeah, and he loses the queen. Correct. Yeah, he loses the queen. Also, knight d four, same story. Yeah. Same thing here, then queen a1 and pick the queen up. So he went queen e1. Mm -hmm. And check. here I give a check. e3. You you don't care about that pawn because now your e-pawn is very strong. Yeah, and you also play. his king has become vulnerable now. So queen g4 and now just a few moves, yeah. So he cannot take on e3 because of queen h4 mate and... Uh... So I play queen c3 and then, yeah. You just, ah, this, this is, I think, uh, just calculation, right? That, that yeah, I mean, no yeah, but queen, queen and rook are simply protecting all the squares, so, and he resigned here. Yeah, great game. I mean, Setu, I think you hardly put a foot wrong. And with this yeah. win, you moved to six and a half out of eight. And then you uh -huh. were facing Aram Hakobian in the last round. Uh, yes. Quite a tough opponent from Armenia. Yeah, actually he was uh, playing really well in the tournament. He was leading at some point with 6 by 6, uh, amazing score. And then uh, somehow he lost the trade in the penultimate round. He lost his game. So I had a chance to catch up, yeah? Yeah, true. But also Daniel Yufa was uh, on half a point ahead of you, right? Yeah, exactly. The last round was so dramatic. It reminds me of uh, the Asian Championship. Like, I was playing against Wei uh, with Black, and yeah. uh, Surya was playing against Lee Kuan Liam. And Surya and, uh, uh, held him or beat him, no? He actually bet him with Black. Huh. And I also bet uh, Wei with Black, and then I won the tournament. So, some four results has to happen for me to win the event, yeah? And then with the Black pieces, yeah? I mean, I guess player like Lee Kuan Liam or Wei, it's very tough. And especially they were actually uh, leading the tournament by half point. So here, I think the same story. Uh, Yufa was off point ahead. And actually, he was clearly winning against Aravind. Yeah? 
but arvind was like no i have to i have seen yeah. setu is winning so <laughs> that's why does that happen like in the last round or nothing like that oh, i don't know okay <laughs> he wants to save himself right first <laughs> that's true that's true but uh, like what is the way you approach must win situations like this like you must have won many tournaments in the last round right asian as you said this is uh-huh. one more any more that tournaments that come to your mind that you have won in the final round uh right now no but okay the last round tension is always there i mean uh, a few few things i have missed of course like sharja i have missed uh, the title and uh, yeah it's it's quite tough because nerves uh, play a lot of uh, role especially uh, my opponent yeah if you see this game he was better at some point and uh, uh, he completely uh, was not able to handle the pressure it is, it is not easy yeah? it is not easy yeah i mean with more experience i think uh, you still get to it but i mean still you have the same kind of feeling yeah right right and also the timing changes of the last round no usually it's like at yeah usually time. usually yeah usually it's uh, in the morning and uh, but uh, luckily here it was uh, same time same time yeah oh that helps by the way arutran asks i heard setu used to solve a lot of puzzles as a kid please ask him if this is true what percentage of chess training for a strong club player should be for calculation and solving yeah i have solved a lot of chess puzzles like um, i used to just uh, gobble up books <laughs> like uh, this i don't know whether you know this book yeah the domination studies by kasparian oh yes yes yeah I, yeah, two, yeah five, it's a very four, nice five. book yeah 2545 almost i kind of <laughs> solved too many portions from that and uh, yeah it helps it keeps you alert it keeps you sharp and um, i think club player has to solve a lot and uh, also study classics uh, these are the two main things uh, i feel awesome. because classics help help helps you to understand uh, where the pieces go and mm. like the square strategy and piece placement and all the things there yeah? and tactics of course uh, helps you to improve your calculation and be sharp so awesome okay so say to you open with d4 and here uh, any particular reason for choosing the catalan hey <laughs> sreena there in the chat <laughs> I, i'm sorry i'm sure he must be waiting uh yeah it was it was a solid opening my opponent was playing too many things against e4 and um, i thought okay i uh, i thought i will choose an opening where i have will have some control and uh, maybe i will put some slight pressure and um, catalan serves the purpose yeah yeah that's a good uh, opening choice yes and uh, also i i haven't uh, played catalan for a long time so i thought it would be a surprise for him true so this this yes cc4 queen c2 is queen the C2. main move a6 yes. a6 and, and a4 and now uh, there are two main lines one is to take the pawn and now a4 is slowly becoming the kind of the most important move take bishop c6 also i must say this uh, you had this uh, analyze this game uh, of anish against vanko right in this similar line hmm. it was very instructive yeah uh in the candidates right yeah in the candidates yeah the candidates yeah correct so correct. bishop so bishop f4 and uh, knight bd7 oh, sorry bishop d6 but i remember uh, if i'm not mistaken anish went this right and he yeah knight c3 uh, exactly yeah and yeah. then even 95 and also exchange and, there yeah. and then h3 king h2 rook g1 and all these things correct came, yeah. correct and he attacked so you you went queen c1 which is i queen think c1. the main move yeah also one of the moves yeah one of the moves knight d7 knight d7 here i i kind of uh, couldn't remember but still i think i played the most uh, logical moves like knight c3 e5 and rook e1 your I idea is e4. e4 correct yeah e4 So here I was surprised by his decision because uh, he kind of fizzled out too early. Probably he should have maintained the tension, like maybe Bishop B4 or something. Ah, uh, or maybe something else. Before. Yeah, stopping. It is Knight E4 a possible move? Or? Yeah, it's it's possible. Yeah, it's definitely possible. I mean, there are a lot of options uh, in uh, these kind of positions. Uh, but he uh, he kind of exchanged his pieces, and uh, that allowed me to gain, I think, slight plus. Take. And yeah, takes, this takes. is a typical idea, by the way, guys, to give the bishop and play c6. Like yeah, c6, I've seen, yeah. uh, but why do you say say to it was too early or too premature to do this? No, because I here I get e4 e5. Yeah, I mean he's not in time to meet e4 with e5. Acha, ah, so that's that's how it hmm. should be. So like if suppose 
uh, just as an example uh if yeah, like, let's say yeah, queen e7 and you play h3 and then yeah. we do the same stuff bishop f3 uh bishop f3 bishop f3 bishop yeah f4. bishop f4 queen f4 c6 if e4 then now e5 yeah. and now black is doing well yeah yes yes got it okay very important guys so here e4 uh takes and now he cannot play e5 so, so he went yeah, queen yeah. e7 yeah i mean now i played e5 i can as well bring my queen back to e3 the point is that if he goes e5 then I have d5 so it is also slightly better i think mm -hmm. but he went e5 you went e5 yeah i went e5 oh, okay. i e5 and then queen d2 and then he played knight b6 knight e4 queen b4 and here i made a big blunder like i kind of uh, hallucinated like i wanted to play queen c2 somehow i thought it's the same and then i uh, played queen d3 which was a big blunder because what uh, you just forgot this pawn was hanging yeah 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 i mean i saw the pawn was hanging but somehow i thought that okay he he, he can't take the pawn yeah because i have some attack but it was complete uh, like a blind spot they say yeah it's, it's unexplainable did you did you get nervous here that oh my god what have i done uh, in yeah, this particular yeah, I was game i was cursing myself <laughs> because my initial plan was to play queen c2 of course right and then uh, he cannot take on d4 because of knight uh, g5 g6 and then rook e4 knight b4 rook uh, e4 the queen is trapped right yeah queen is trapped yeah, knight queen. b4 is the only move yeah. and then queen c1 and if queen d7 uh here there's a nice tactic for uh white okay guys time to put on your thinking caps setu has a great position for you white to play how do you crash through Yes, the book that Setu has mentioned. One second, I can just show you guys if I can find it. Yeah, I'm not able to find it right now, but it, I have it. Uh, the book by Kasparian. It's a very nice one. Okay. Uh, yes, guys, you all are absolutely right. Knight takes h7 is the yes. correct move. Prahlad Sen, Anish, Diban, Vedan, Sal, Savita, Arutran, Kalai Selvi, Advait, and Melan Musk. Excellent. So the idea is. Just a second. Uh, yeah, knight at seven, king at seven. Yeah, king at seven, rook at four, and I just made there. Yeah. Finish. Yeah, king g8, queen at six, and so on. So this was my initial idea, and then somehow I played queen d3 out of the blue, and uh, I was cursing myself. Also, I could have taken the queen yeah, on b4, and uh, knight b4, rook d1, and knight d6, I'm slightly better. Rook e d1, and then knight d6, I'm, I'm the one who's completely dominating here. Yeah? Right. Right. So you have a pleasant position here. Yeah. Instead of that, uh, all of a sudden I played queen d3 and... Uh, he yeah, took was, here? Yeah. And he had more time also. Like I was having something like 14 minutes. He had one hour, 10 minutes. Yeah. So he had so more time So what did also. you do here, Setu? Like, uh, did you get up from your chair? Did you say something like, let's fight now? Like, because many people, when they play chess, they mm -hmm. blunder like this and then they give up, you know, then they, one blunder leads to another. Yeah. Also, one of the uh, advantages was I looked uh, at his games in depth. So he didn't convert some of the winning positions in his earlier games. Like in Riga, he had some games where he was completely winning. Uh, somehow he couldn't convert it. So I had some hope. Maybe I could kind of uh, put some uh, resistance and try to uh, kind of uh, create some chaos. So that was the hope, yeah. And uh, okay, I thought, okay, what happened has happened. I mean, you cannot uh, simply go back and then <laughs> change the move, yeah. So, uh, okay. I mean, fortunately, the position is not that losing because I have some play. Yeah. So I thought, okay, 
let's uh, Let, let's at least threaten mate in one yeah. now <laughs> <laughs> let's see something happens he went g6 of course uh and now so, he played b3 yeah b3 and uh knight c3 he played maybe knight b6 was simpler mm-hmm. uh okay knight c3 is also of course uh, better and then here i played h4 if queen b3 the queen is getting trapped okay it's i think easy for the guys yeah this one is not so tough yeah. because so b1 and then queen is getting trapped so he cannot take the pawn so, so he played rook d8 and uh, here i played uh, rook c1 now i'm slowly getting back into the groove yeah his knights are a bit tangled mm-hmm. but he can do and... knight b5 right yeah that's what he went that's I what he played. went he played yeah and then now uh, i got it back into the game because i had this nice move okay for P- uh, pushing the queen away and then yeah and then now i take because it is important because if i take on a5 first then knight b4 is coming so i need to get rid of the annoying knight on d5 and then your d4 pawn is hanging d4 pawn is hanging, hanging yeah okay so so you i got to uh, here look here and if rook d5 knight e4 is coming yeah and his pieces are misplaced oh, and now knight is an important coming. move with yeah, the check yeah, yeah. but if he goes back and then knight f6 and his knight on b5 looks stupid yeah and then you will anyway attack like yeah, king h5 g2. king g2 yeah, exactly and then i bring my rook to h1 and uh, tremendous okay okay and also your rook on a4 does a nice uh, job yeah, of defending exactly. b4 yeah exactly <laughs> so take and the pawn now i'm i was so relieved that okay i got the pawn back yeah on a5 <laughs> and generally you know when such a thing happens like you were worse then you start mm-hmm. at least getting equal in your mind you are like you are already feeling very positive yeah exactly exactly so the momentum is on your side now queen d7 queen d7 was a bit strange move i think maybe he could have played f6 or something mm. okay so, position is still equal i feel right but but okay it's not then yeah so he played queen d7 he wanted to go queen g4 but then once again like you mentioned uh, the after queen g4 i got rook a4 yeah ah uh, you have this always different yeah Yeah, that's what happened in the game. He played queen g4, I played rook a4, and all my pieces were nicely protected. F6, and then I went f3 here. Yeah, he went back, and then I took took and rook e1. Slowly, I'm coming. Yeah, hmm. I mean, I have got the a file, I've got the e file, and uh, my king is better placed than his king, and my knight on g5 is strong. So all these factors, yeah, gave me some confidence that maybe I can create some chances. Okay. Rook D. Guys, this is very exciting because you know the last round on the next board, you know Arvind is <laughs> yeah. in a worse position. You have a tough position on the board, so it must have been so exciting to play this. Okay, Rook E five, and mm-hmm. uh, now can he push away with H six with the idea of no, but he yeah, can H6. never take on F three. Yeah, right? because yeah, because G six is hanging. Yeah, so it just weakens his position. So he went Knight D six. Yeah, and then Queen E two was quite. a nice move because uh, the point is that I, i want to jump with the knight to e6 okay and so he, uh, he played knight yeah. f5 yeah yeah he played knight f5 and then i uh, went in with knight e6 so rook b8 and then here uh, i played f4 with the idea of h5 and can he push your rook away to take uh, but the knight yeah. now defends this pawn yeah. so Yeah, so it's not. I mean, always uh, I can move the rook, and then if rook e six, then I can take take, and if knight d four, I have queen e five or rook e seven. Yeah, two moves are there. So ah, queen e five attacks this rook, and yeah, rook yeah. e seven means knight e two, then rook, rook d seven. Yeah, rook. Yeah, and then rook. This rook is coming to a seven. So okay, okay. So f four, he went king h eight. Yeah, now I slowly, eight. slowly got in. Yeah. Okay, seven and twenty-six and nine G five. Now it already became tricky for him. I mean, with a weak king and also in future time trouble, it's very. Difficult. I think now with uh, no thirty minutes to be added, yeah. I think you must be both <laughs> down to last few, last minute or so. Yeah, we 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 had three minutes or something. I had three minutes. He had one minute or something. H six, rookie. Now 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 it's simply over. Yeah. So the the no the point is that instead of H six, if knight D four, then I have rookie eight. If rook f8, then they have knight f7 check. No, no, this this rook, yeah. Ah, sorry. If he if the yeah. rook goes back, then yeah, this... knight f7 check. Yeah. Can you win this? Okay, very good. Yeah. 
and uh, so he went at, at six. six. Check. And then I we are okay. Eight. Now it's lost. I think. Can he go here? Uh, that's what he. I ah, ah, here the problem is yeah there is a nice line. Uh, probably they can find it. I don't know. There, there's a combination of three moves. Yeah, something like three to four moves and white is winning. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Guys, white to play looks very interesting because if rook b8 i have queen b8 yes and uh, a couple of uh, sequences and uh, a very cute tactic actually This is not so easy uh, because yeah, be, yeah because he, yeah yeah and all forced moves yeah kind of okay let's see what are the moves that are being recommended here guys try to think rook b7 knight e6 rook b8 g4 queen e5 Mm, queen e5 doesn't seem to oh queen e5 works no queen e5 no, but... queen e5 queen e5 i i, I can take yeah queen e5 and yeah. I think you're losing so is it rook uh, is it 96 check yeah 96 is correct but then after king f7 to to three more moves yeah king f7 rook takes yes queen b8 king and takes. Now, oh, now comes a cute tactic. <laughs> ooh, ooh, guys, now you have to find it. This is very important. Very nice. White to move. White to move. But what if we had gone king h7, say to maybe that was possible Where? or king f after 96 check? Uh, but then uh, uh, I have a couple of options. Like, first of all, there is no threat. And I think I can play. Uh, no, I guess I'm, something. I want to take your rook on e8, right? That, that's the yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. I, I was thinking something now. Um, uh, yeah. Yes, very good, guys. Very good job. Rook b7 is the correct move. Uh, Kritika chess, Kalai Selvi, Sals, Fluffy, Gurbaksh, chess, Sudarshan, Danai, chess, Om Gupta. All of you have got the right move. Rook takes b7, Queen takes b7, and Knight d8 with a beautiful fork. So yeah, probably king h8 I think I can go knight c5 or maybe something like that. Ah, knight c5 and then put pressure on. Yeah, yeah. Knight d4 maybe I have uh, something like uh, queen e7 check or something. I mean maybe maybe I had something better. Yeah, but uh, right now I'm not. Yeah, queen e7 should should be. Good. Yeah, sh 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 should 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 be. Yeah, also knight d7 is coming now. Yeah, that is that was the point. Yeah, knight d7 is coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he took in the position. Mm -hmm. Now I took. I took. And, and queen uh, f8. Uh, if he moves his king to g7, there is rook b7. Rook b7. Yes. So that is just over. So he had to go back. And if he plays rook here, there is knight f7, f7. check. Exactly. And you lose yeah. the queen. So, yeah. oops, sorry. Uh, rook, this is there. So he went queen yeah, f8. f8. Yeah, queen e5 is strong, yeah. He oh, take this the is such course, a yeah. such a nice move, yeah. Say to because yeah, take yeah. take, yes, and exactly. He loses the rook. Yeah. And now rook b seven is coming. Ninety six. Also, I, I could take I could take on b b seven directly, but I thought okay, I found this. Here. Ninety six to be rook b eight. Yeah, that was the point. Okay. So knight e six, queen e seven, and here there is two. two two moves to just finish the game. Yeah. Probably we can okay. end it up. It was, a, it was a nice construction, kind of. Guys, finish the game in two moves. Try to be very accurate here. How do you win? Okay, let's see.
yes uh if you can try the two moves that would be nice okay a lot of people are saying in the chat rook a8 also yes thought of and then king h7 and king h7 and now is the critical move i think yes guys now I mean, gen generally yeah. you don't see this move or you see this move yeah because it is completely a bit yeah. counterintuitive yeah it's not easy like you your mind will go to knight f8 check knight yeah, exactly. g5 you're, check you're, yeah exactly in time pressure your mind will be thinking okay where to move my knight i mean somehow and then this comes i mean when you see this move you you feel it okay it's over yeah yes it's kind of that feeling yeah exactly I mean, when you spot this move, it looks easy, but uh, to come to that move, it's quite right. counterintuitive. Right. Yeah. Had you seen it before, or you saw it at the moment? Like, uh, yeah, I saw it after. I mean, I thought maybe I I could take on B7, and I, then I found this move. Then okay, I thought let's go here. It's because it's just over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice guys. Oh, everyone has found it. Well done. Well done. Uh, Motish, Arutran, Shreesh, Priyanshu, Kritika. Kirtika, Reban, Rian, BTA, Arush, and Sels. And, yeah, uh, so after Queen Wade, it's just over. Yeah. What a move. Forced mate. Well, yeah, if G5, I can even play H5. <laughs> <laughs> right. And this king is not running anywhere. What a <laughs> great win in a pressure situation, especially after that small mistake you made, yet coming back. I think it requires a lot of. Uh, skills a lot of uh, fighting ability tenacity and i think uh, setu it's amazing that you were able to win such a strong event and i yes. think um, as you rightly said it it gives you more boost and it gives you like more events like you will be more confident are you playing going to play anything next yeah probably i'm planning to play sharja uh, uh, sharja uh, masters that's a very then, strong tournament yeah yeah and then maybe grand swiss i mean uh, most probably yes. I'll be in, but yeah. You are, you are one of the players reserves, who is yeah. reserved, but I think because some of the top players may not yeah. play, you will get a chance. And yeah, that, most that probably I'll be like, a yeah. huge yeah. event for you. Event. Exactly. Right. Guys, uh, if there's someone who's working immensely hard on chess, that's Setu, because, you know, even in the pandemic, when he wasn't playing, he was busy making a lot of courses on chess table and he was, I think there are four to five courses that you have made, uh, say two. Yes, so yeah, four courses. Yeah. Four courses, so you can check it out and they are like huge. They are some 50 hours, some are 40 hours. They are very, very intense. Uh, and you know, you know, when I was playing these tournaments, three tournaments, whenever I was roaming around, I used to see my ideas all over the place. Yeah. Oh, people were playing them. <laughs> yeah, people are playing. Yeah, people are playing a lot. <laughs> it's amazing how you are uh, pushing the chess uh, theory uh, with your work. And I think that has always been your strength, your opening preparation. Also, you have written a book uh, for thinkers yes. on... Uh, Night of and Time Anno. Night of and Time Anno for, for, for white side. Uh, we mm -hmm. did videos on that so guys you can check it out but setu it was a great pleasure to have you here analyze these two games what are you going to do with your prize fund any any plan like in general <laughs> what do chess players do with their prize fund uh, do they invest it back into chess or do they put in mutual funds do they put it in the fixed <laughs> deposit how does that work probably spend more, more for chess spend <laughs> training and all this kind of things yeah? that's true that's true any any people you would like to thank for this victory yeah, actually, I would like to uh, thank a lot of people. Like, my parents were so supportive because it was not easy uh, to travel, yeah, uh, at that time. And also, uh, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Bharat Singh Chauhan, sir, and uh, Prachura for helping me to get the visa. Because ah. I just hardly had three or four days to get the visa, yeah. So, they they also helped me, and uh, yeah. And I had a great time with, with these guys in uh, Riga and as well Barcelona. Oh, yes, yes, yes. One photo I right, <laughs> on the show. Uh, this is one which Setu had sent, uh, which we must check. W what yeah. is this? Uh, you guys went Yeah, we were play playing football. football. Yeah, in Riga. Yeah, We had a great time. Wow. So so from left is Donchenko, uh, Setu, Arjun Kalyan, uh, Harshit Raja. And who Thanks. is... Uh, he is a uh, Serbian uh, uh, international master who is very talented and he is 17 years old. He is on the way to become GM. Okay. And uh, uh, there and is uh, Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu. Yeah. 
and in the background is uh, it looks like uh, the ceiling of mumbai but what is it <laughs> some bridge, it's, it's huh? a famous yeah it's some bridge yeah it's a famous landmark in riga so mm. by the way, who who was the best at football harshit harshit sure. very good right yeah yeah mm. yeah that's very, what very we were discussing he's very good at uh, football and Such, yeah Yeah. So, so also Barcelona, we had a great time with uh, Arvind, uh, Karthik, and and Ramesh uh, sir was also there. So uh, it it was it was a uh, nice yeah to get get out out of the home and then play chess and then meet the people uh, you uh, you interact with and then it's it's fun yeah it's fun it was great. Yeah, and I think all these uh, people are very positive overall. Yes, Karthik exactly. and uh, Arvind. Arvind, I've never I've never seen them like. tensed worried they are always uh, you know happy uh, and of course yes. ramesh sir uh, he's he's always uh, helpful to everyone prag was there i think prag yeah. uh, fell ill right in the tournament yeah yeah he was not feeling better now he is doing fine but okay because of this uh, illness he couldn't play the tournament he couldn't complete the tournament yeah but vaishali played well i think yeah. uh, she finished as uh, in top 16 and also arjun kalyan played well So yeah. overall, a very successful event. And stay to once again. Congrats! We wish you a safe journey back home. Maybe during the uh, Olympiad, if you are in Chennai, uh, we'll meet in. If you come to Taj Hotel, I'm planning to travel to Chennai. And oh, oh, event. that's great! <laughs> after, yeah, yeah. <laughs> after one and a half years, I also want to you know uh, indulge a bit in some of the. And Sa- Sa- Sagar, if you want home food, you can always visit my home. <laughs> <laughs> I remember 2018 uh, World Championship match game number six was it or something where I came yeah seven thousand eight yeah and it was raining so much uh, but we were served such wonderful <laughs> food by your uh, by your mom and uh, was so nice to to do it I would really love it if if it's possible I'll I'll drop sure, it sure sure but for sure. now say to thank you so much for this time for the time you spent with us thank you thank you Sagar bye. Yeah bye. Guys, that was Setu Raman and all the way from Barcelona he could, he found out time for uh, this stream after his victory at the tournament and he you know was so uh, kind to analyze the games with us ask you questions. I think these are the streams which really help you to you know get a ground reality of what it's like to play in these top tournaments uh, to play in this last round what are the things which happen oh, mistake happened but he fought back it was really nice so <clears throat> thank you all for following this and i'll see you all later uh, tomorrow starts champions chess tour and guys i'll have a small request to all of you uh, to help a chess player but more about that tomorrow i'll work on it tonight Until then, take care. Bye bye. Oh, don't forget to make a vlog. Samad says yes. If I go to Chennai, I'll make a vlog for sure. I'll, I'll. Yes. <laughs>